Hello my darlings, I'm Twiste and today I'm going to be talking to you about a movie that proves that you should never answer a doorbell at dead of night. I'm going to talk to you about The Strangers. The Strangers is about a couple that go to a family home that's out in the woods in the middle of nowhere and then they are stalked by three masked people who are just making their life a living hell. When it first came out, I thought it was something new, I thought it was something a little bit creepy, however, it's honestly, it's not really something that new, and to me, I kind of thought that these people were kind of stupid. I mean, yeah, it's understandable that you freeze up or you get scared if there's a home invasion, but at the same time, I would want to beat the living crap out of anybody that tries to take over my home. But that's just my personal opinion. And just a couple of these things that just happened, it just didn't make the movie as enjoyable for me anymore. Maybe it's just because I'm so used to horror movies nowadays, but I did not enjoy this as much as I thought. I would, and that's kind of strange. Liv Tyler's performance was wonderful, but that's the only real thing that I can really remember about this movie is just her performance. It felt real. You felt like she was in actual danger, but other than that, I can't really remember anything that much about this. It's really sad. Alright darlings, let's get down to business of what it has and what it has not, and I will let you know if The Strangers is worth watching, or if you should just keep on ignoring the masked person that's standing right behind you. Total amount of horror movie cliches. There is six horror movie cliches. Now these cliches, dear lord, one cliche is based on true events, and the movie that you are about to see is by actor's portrayal about events that actually happened and one that infuriated me the most was Liv Tyler is running out in the woods to try and get safety and she trips and she falls. Can we just have a stable person running please? It's really, oh god, stop it. Total amount of eerie moments. There's eight eerie moments, but this mostly had to do with the build-up and tension that was caused by the masked people. Liv Tyler, she's just standing in the middle of the living room, just wondering what the heck is going on, and then suddenly you see one of the masked people, the man actually, just walk up ever so quietly and he's just wearing his mask and he's just... That is just kind of creepy right there. Total amount of suspenseful moments. There's five suspenseful moments, but these suspenseful moments made my heart race. They were creepy. This is one that actually con was continuous, was when the knocking and the banging on the doors were happening all throughout the house. They were happening on the windows. They were happening on the walls. They were happening on the doors. And it was just really, creepy because you're anxious enough already because of these people and then suddenly you have all these noise interrupting you and your concentration. Total amount of jump scares? There's 11 jump scares and this is what really kills it because none of these jump scares were justified. They were dumb. Dear lord they were dumb. One jump scare had to do with Liv Tyler. She is in the earlier she was all by herself because her boyfriend was going, well, he's something different but I'm not going to explain it. He went to the market to go get something, she was in the house by herself, she was being terrorized and she's on her guard, she's walking, she's backing up and then suddenly she turns around and there he is and she's freaking out and it was a loud booming noise and it was just not necessary you were expecting one of the people to do it but in all honesty it's just really ugh, dumb. I'm gonna give strangers two and a half out of five stars because you know what yes this is very realistic this could happen 
However, it's just not that memorable in my opinion after watching so many scary movies nowadays that I think I think I've seen movies that are a lot more scarier than this. The jump scares definitely killed it, especially since it was all dumb jump scares. And the cliche of it all was that, you know, based on true events. So have any of you guys seen Strangers? What did you think about it? Do you think home invasion movies are starting to get very old and very stale? Or do you know some of those home invasion movies that are in a way somewhat still refreshing. Please write down in the comments below and we will have a discussion about that. Do you have a horror movie that you would like for me to review, old or new, or even a foreign movie? Please write them down below and I will get to them as soon as I possibly can. If you liked what you've seen, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button. So, until next time, my loves.